everyone. It's Chris Clark with DiscGolf.Law. On January 7th, Simon Lazat released a video explaining the reasons why he was leaving Team Discmania. There had been rumors floating around of what his next move might be, and this appears to be the first announcement of perhaps others that we will hear soon about what his future is in terms of sponsorships. Now, the part of Simon's video that I would like to focus on and talk about was where he said that by leaving Team Discmania, he was going to be losing a lot. And one of the examples that he gave was that he was going to be losing all of his logos. That surprised me a little bit, and I'll tell you why. Simon went to great lengths to say that Discmania did nothing wrong, there is uh, nothing that happened at Discmania to push him out or cause him to leave. That sort of begs the question, why is it that Simon would lose his logos simply by changing sponsors? That's not typically how we would expect that to work. Generally, if you are a uh, professional athlete and you have developed a, a logo that you use to identify yourself, that logo belongs to you. It would certainly be within your legal rights to continue to use that logo um, even in the future with different sponsors. I'm really curious, why is it that Discmania gets, according to Simon's video, to retain the rights to Simon's logos? And perhaps also begs the question, if Simon is no longer playing for Team Discmania, what is Discmania going to do with those logos? If any of you have seen our videos in the past, you know that I am a big evangelist for uh, trademark planning, for getting all of your intellectual property rights properly protected. And unfortunately, the disc golf industry doesn't have a great track record of doing that. I'm really worried that it's going to lead eventually to a trademark dispute between perhaps a sponsor and a player. I'm not suggesting that that's gonna be the case here, but I do think that this lack of legal planning around intellectual property protection in disc golf is a ticking time bomb. And I do think we're going to see some significant legal battles as the sport continues to grow around things like brand ownership. So what does everybody think should happen in this case? Should Discmania, who has been Simon's sponsor for a decade now, get to retain the rights to Simon's logos? Or should Simon be able to continue to use those logos going forward? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments.